Next up, we've got a fun scrap here, guys. We got Jared Flash Gordon, New York Zone, taking on Mark O. Madsen, the Olympian, 39 years of age. Denmark just put on, guys. Nicholas Galby. You guys remember. Oh my God. No way. Our guy Marcel, far, far too kind. Absolute cheers to you. What a gem of a human being. Thank you, Marcel. Huge blessings, my brother. Um, this guy, Marcel, crushes in the boxing department on a week-to-week -week basis. Always dropping gems in this chat. So I say it each and every week, sharpest chat in the game. And there's our guy, Marcel, with the huge $100 dono. I think that's the biggest dono ever in the history of the show. So a special thanks to you, Marcel. My hat comes off to you, my brother. Thank you so much. And that that just warms my heart, brother. Thank you. Um, wow. Um, where are we at, guys? We're we're at Jared Gordon and Marco Madsen. We got hella more fights to talk about. We got beautiful betting opportunities all around. Um, but shout out to the great people of the chat that make it worth it. What an absolute blessing. Um, let's get back on track here if we can refocus. And um, we got the Henzo Gracie product. Right, we got Henzo Gracie's own Jerry Gordon back in the building. Of course, um, absolutely a blessing. And we've got uh, Marco Madsen. You know, fight ready. He has definitely shown improvements over the course of his UFC run. But at 39 years of age, hard to imagine he's got that much more growth left, and he's got that much left to give. You know, he's on his second career in combat. He's a guy that made the Olympic Championships, I believe, uh, certainly the World Championship level in. Greco-Roman wrestling. So very good wrestling credentials, but sometimes people wonder why is he getting taken down in some of these fights? You know, why, why is he not able to, um, you know, prevent the submission from Grant Dawson? Well, I can tell you guys, it's because he's not a traditional wrestler, like a American style wrestler. He ain't wrestling with us boys over in section nine, uh, where we're getting down with leg attacks, where we're trying to hold people down, where we're trying to control people on the mat. I always say folk style wrestling is a different thing. We're trying to control. That's why we talk about rides. That's why we talk about pinning people to the to the floor. Whereas freestyle wrestling, Greco-Roman wrestling, a lot of times it's about offense, big throws, big takedowns, big attacks, but maybe not holding somebody down for a pin, you know, maybe not controlling somebody for an, a longer period of time, maybe a little bit more explosive bursts, but not that continual effort. That 15 minute, that grinding pace, scrambles, all these kind of things that classify American folk style wrestling. And so I think that Marco Madsen is getting better at some of those things. Um, you know, beat Vince Bichelle, a pretty tough guy to grind out, beat Clay Guida in a split decision fight that mostly played out on the feet, but again, was able to prevent his wrestling there. Austin Hubbard, kind of a classic get out wrestled kind of guy. TKO Danilo Bellawardo, who I don't. I don't know that anybody's ever been heard heard from since, so we wish him the best. But Danilo Bellawardo, not really the best guy. Oh wow! Interesting note from Glenbot says I heard Mark moved back to Denmark, not at Fight Ready anymore. If that's true, I think that's a big deal. Um, what I will say though is shout out to Denmark, right? And shout out to Marcel one last time because Nicholas Dalby, that plus four fifty hitting easily, was all the credit of Denmark's toughness and durability. Shout out to my guy. Uncle Wheezy as well always says Denmark produces tough individuals. Marco Madsen, definitely very tough. Uh, looking at his resume right here, no losses via TKO, only loss coming via way of submission last time out against Grant Dawson. Dawson got fraud checked a little bit uh, last time out as well, um, you know, by Bobby Green, got knocked out in that fight in the very early going. So I look at this spot as a Jared Gordon potential bounce back opportunity. You know, I don't think many people believe in Jared. Um, you know, in the UFC for whatever reason, but I thought he could have easily beat Patty Pimblett. I thought it was a very close fight. Um, could have went either way. You look at that fight, loses a unanimous decision. There was a lot of controversy, a lot of uproar about that one. The clash of heads against Bobby Green is marginally concerning, but he has taken off a pretty sufficient amount of time. I would reckon about seven months uh, of time out of the octagon to recover from that clash of heads. And you look in the past, he got submitted by Grant Dawson in the third round in a back and forth fight where Grant Dawson just really worked very hard and spent himself looking for that third round finish. I was surprised he got it, but I was impressed. He's a big guy. And Jared Gordon is a guy who's kind of a tweener, right? A little bit between 45 and 55. Um, but you look back, Joe Selecki, Joe Gracie, guy whose cardio didn't necessarily check out. And I bet uh, plus 126 in that spot, multiple units on Jared Gordon, cashed the ticket there. Um, you know, he beat Chris Fishgold, beat Danny Chavez. 
just outwork these guys to a decision. So is Jared Gordon the most uh, devastating guy? No. The reason they put him in there with Patty Pimblett is because he, he doesn't normally bust a grape. He doesn't normally finish people, but he can typically outwork people, outgrind people, win a close competitive decision, land a little bit more shots on the feet. So I do think that um, my guy Dixon is making a valid point here. Gordon late or Gordon decision is how I would look at this. You know, he's had older opponents before that were gassed in front of him and he didn't get the finish. You know, Jared just really not a very violent guy. I think that Jared would prefer to be in another walk of life, but he just does this because it's how he has his platform. It's how he shares his story. He's a New York guy, New York's own, one of New York's favorite sons. So just like uh, our guy, Matt Frivola, going to be rooting for my guy, Jared Gordon, New York's own, Henzo Gracie's own to get the job done in what should be a close fight, competitive fight. But I think later on, when it comes down to heart, cardio, and who wants it better, I'll take Jerry Gordon in that kind of spot any day. Um, so give me Jerry Gordon.